guys and welcome to the seven basic differentiation rule we have the seven we have quotient rule okay so quotient rule it's very understandable if you have already watched the product rule so it's the uh, co quotient counterpart of the product rule so we have u and v again uh, for easy memorizing this rule so we have the quotient of u and v derivative of the quotient of u and v is equal to v du minus u dv all over v squared okay so this is the derivative of u over v so take note you can actually use the code u ah, sorry not u but v okay so for quotient rule it's the opposite v is the first uh, factor of the term then we have du minus u dv all over v squared okay so if product rule is u dv plus v du quotient rule is v du minus u dv so it's the opposite then there's just an added uh, v squared okay so we will understand why there is a v squared there use, if we use the limit definition of the derivative so let's go prove this uh, rule okay so in proving this we have again u and v be differentiable functions uh, by the way for this proof i'll be using i'll be actually using the eighth rule which is chain rule so if you really want to know what's chain rule just follow the next uh, differentiation rule uh, chain rule is actually very useful in this scenario because it will help us simplify the proof for this quotient rule okay so why quotient rule uh, is valid okay so again uh, we have u v u over v rather so take note that u over v we can actually write the denominator v as v to the power of negative one so it's actually a well-known rule exponential rule that we can rewrite the variable in the denominator and make it a, a transfer it in the numerator by having the exponent be a negative value so in this scenario because this is v to the power of one transferring it okay transferring it above it will have v to the power of negative one okay so observe that in this scenario we have now a product rule okay we can actually apply apply product rule here okay so using product rule uh, instead of having v we have now v to the power of negative one so we have this okay and if we rewrite uh, take note that the derivative of this so we have v so negative v to the power of negative one minus one which is negative v to the power of negative uh, two okay while this we just have du dx okay so that's the continuation and then we can actually transfer v back to the denominator okay since it's so transferring it back we have now v squared in the denominator and v in the numerator so again in this part here this is actually 1 over v and this is actually 1 negative 1 over v squared so that's why uh, what happened here we have u dvx okay so this is dv okay so we have dvx and we have du dx and then it's negative because of this okay so we have now this and then we can actually uh, get the lcd we need to combine the two terms if we multiply v in this term so you'll get uh, this term here so you have v du dx all over v squared and since they have the same 
denominator, we can combine them. Okay, so we combine them. And then we can uh, interchange the position of the first and the second terms. Okay, so we can interchange them and observe that we already have the formula itself. We have V D U minus V D V all over V squared. Okay, so we're done proving. Now let's apply this in an example. Okay, so suppose we have again this f of x equals 3x squared plus 1 and we have g of x equals 2x squared minus 3. So we're asked to find the derivative of their quotient. And if it's derivative, we're going to apply quotient rule, which is this formula here. Okay. So applying the formula, so again, v is this. This is our v. Okay, and this is our u. So we have v, which is 2x squared minus 3. du, u is 3x squared plus 1. Okay, this is u. This is v. Minus u, 3x squared plus 1, u, dv. So this is v, 2x squared minus 3. Okay, then we get the derivative of u and v here. So we have, this will become 6x. Okay, because... Uh, putting 2 down we have 2x so 2x times 3 is 6x and of course the derivative of 1 is just 0 here in the second part we have v putting down 2 you will have 2 times 2 which is 4x because we subtract 1 to the exponent and of course the derivative of minus 3 is just minus 0 okay so We'll have this. Okay. And then we simplify further. So we have 12x cubed minus 18x minus the group of 12x cubed plus 4x all over 2x squared minus 3 quantity squared. Okay, if you're wondering why that's the answer, it's because of 6x. We distribute 6x. Here, we distribute 4x. Okay, and that's the answer. And then we take out the grouping symbol. So the plus becomes negative here. Okay, because we distribute the negative sign. And then we simplify further. So 12x cubed is gone. 18 plus, uh, negative 18 plus negative 4 is just negative 22. Take note the negative is already here. Actually, we can write the negative either here or here, okay? So, that's the derivative of this uh, function.